In this video, we're going to look at how to use inverse operations and the property of equality to solve a two-step equation. The only difference between a two-step equation and a one-step equation is that if you look at the variable here, in this case a y, you can see that there are two operations being performed on the y. And this is where we can use what we did in our geometry sketchpad lesson to kind of untangle this a little bit. So first of all, we have a y. And if we follow order of operations, it's being multiplied by 2, and that gives us some number here. And then it's being, whatever that product is, we're adding 3 to it, and then that gives us an output, in this case, of 9. So if we follow the same sort of logic in the, as in the GSP lesson, we would work backwards. So the first thing we did to that 9 is we would minus 3, and then we would do the inverse of multiplying by 2, which is dividing by 2. What we're going to focus on is this undoing process and the order of how we undid what was done using order of operations. So we have two things that we need to do to kind of get our variable by itself. We have to subtract by 3 and we have to divide by 2. The key here is to recognize that we are basically doing order of operations in reverse. So if we were evaluating the expression we would take y, multiply it by 2, and then add 3. But in this case because we're solving we're going to work backwards so we will subtract 3 which is the inverse of adding 3 and then we will divide by 2, which is the inverse of multiplying by 2. So let's see what that looks like. So if we follow our steps, the first thing we have to do is undo our addition step. So we will subtract 3 from the left, and property of equality says to subtract 3 from the right. Those cancel out, leaving us with 2y on the left, and 9 minus 3 is 6 on the right. The next step we can do, and we can see this is a one-step equation, 2 times y. We indicated that over here as well. The inverse of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. So we will divide by 2 on the left, and property of equality, divide by 2 on the right. Our 2's cancel out, leaving us with y equals 6 divided by 2 is 3. So once again now we have a claim that y is equal to 3. So let's check the claim. I'm going to use 2 substitute in the 3 plus 3 equals 9. Order of operations, we did this at the top. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 equals 9 and 6 plus 3 is 9 which in fact equals 9. So yes, in fact we have shown that 3 is the solution to 2y plus 3 equals 9. Now here's another one. We have the same idea where this time we have negative 4a minus 2 equals negative 14. We're going to set that sort of input output system again. Here's some value a. If we follow order of operations, the first thing we would do to a is we would multiply by negative 4. That gives us some number and then we would subtract 2, and that supposedly will give us negative 14. So if we want to undo that to work backwards, we will do the inverse of subtracting 2 first, which is to add 2, and then we would do the inverse of multiplying by negative 4, which is dividing by negative 4. And that, if we follow those steps, should give us the value of a. So let's try that out. Okay, so according to our work here on the right in blue, the first thing we need to do is undo our subtraction step. So we'll use the inverse of subtraction, which is addition. Same thing on the right. Negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out, leaving us with negative 4a equals negative 14 and positive 2 is negative 12. 
The next thing we need to do is we need to undo this multiplication step. And so to do that, we divide, as we indicated here in the blue. We will divide by negative 4, and we will do the same thing on both sides. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, so that cancels out, leaving us with a equals negative 12 divided by negative 4 is 3. So we are once again claiming that our solution is 3. Let's check that. So to do the check, we will just follow regular order of operations. Negative 4, let's put the 3 in parentheses, minus 2 equals negative 14. So let's do this order of operations. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 minus 2 equals negative 14. Negative 12 subtract 2. Remember, we can change that to negative 12 plus negative 2 is negative 14, which is the same as the negative 14 on the right. So hooray, once again, we have been successful.